<laughs> welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the first and in inaugural of the third year episode of the Blunderbuss Special. Right, Nate? This is the... Yeah, we're doing season three, I guess. Season three? It, yeah, right. yeah, just kind of made that decision. The so. first episode of the new year of 2017. All right, good job. People. Yeah. Good job. Hopefully it doesn't suck. Hopefully it Rick, you're going to be on the episode of suck. <laughs> oh, God. And uh, hopefully, we'll, you know, we're going to we're gonna talk about, uh, like, I guess what we're going to do for the coming of the year, but the, you know, for, the I guess, the rest of the year. Yeah. We're going to do a, a year-end episode, but, uh, yeah, we, that didn't happen. Yeah, that, you know, well, it was pretty crazy. We had a hunting trip, like, the second, yeah. you know, of January. It's like, fuck, Murder man. Christmas. Murder yeah. Christmas was... Uh, nobody got anything, but yeah, it's whatever. It's kind of, uh, <laughs> Today we have our friend uh, Rick from uh, Anime at the Mel. Uh, our, our, I guess, right? Uh, anime right? at the Alamo. Yeah, Anime at the Alamo. <laughs> uh, Trey, he couldn't be here, you know. Just rest in, so rest in peace, Trey. You're, just you're so bad about rest that. Rest in pepperoni. <laughs> no, no, no. Did he, you say rest in pepperoni? <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, well, uh, it wasn't just me. <laughs> no, no. No, no, no. He, uh, he couldn't be here today. He had some stuff family. But, but um, he's we, here in spirit. He we, wanted to be here. He really, we miss really you. wanted to make and it. We love you. I know, we miss right? you, fam. Just, I won't have right. anybody to giggle with while the yeah, two of you yeah, are talking. Just, <laughs> that's right. You guys are having the giggle fest the last time yeah, we're there's, here. The, there's, think, a, there's a hole in my heart. <laughs> just, I have to fill it with cocaine. I, I'm, Whoa. I'm lamenting <laughs> my tray <laughs> not being here. Just. <laughs> I see the. I miss you, buddy. I miss, totally miss you, buddy. If you take a good look at his face, you can see the tracks of his tears. <laughs> That's right. Uh, but thank you for having it's me not on. From sweat. You know, no, it's your, not. your first, your first of the year. Thanks for thinking of us. And it's all us about you. Having us on. It's all about um, you, Rick. It's oh, all no. about you. Oh, no. In the new and improved pod room. I'm like, it's yes, extra. this it's room ultimate is podness. okay. I know you guys can't see this, but like, it's super, super dope in here. They got all this art. And all this foam and on the foam. walls. Yes. Dead. Oh, we got a lot of dope in here too, man. Well, I mean, just... shut up. <laughs> you don't <laughs> want to admit that in public. Man, yeah, yeah, fuck them. Shit, they don't know where we're at, man. It's like you know, got this in big... your secret warehouse lab. The whole the table just nowhere. covered in, in in fucking coke, man. It's well, like, yeah, the we're... strippers are coming over. We yeah. are in our underground base in Nevada. So yeah, I feel legally <laughs> obligated yeah. to say that it is not actually filled with dope. It's, just, up. it's a bunch of recording equipment. <laughs> yeah, legally o- obligated. What, what's this legal <laughs> stuff, man? It's like have to legal. adult. Okay, <laughs> let me adult. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, it's he's wearing There's no there's no incriminating. Eating stuff going on here. <laughs> shifty eyes, shifty <laughs> eyes. <laughs> no, you would have to have like a code name, man. So that way it's like, you know, it, it, you know anonymity. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, I, I totally and sit there. Just, the room just explodes with dudes and suits. Just, just the, uh, with the, the SWAT guys, you know. <laughs> you don't want to see what I do to get my hands on some good anime. <laughs> Whoa. You're losing. Dude, it used to be what? actually the wrecks that I leave in the back alleys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know about like that desperate, but it was actually it wasn't too long ago that mm-hmm. like anime was this like kind of thing. It's hard to find, to be honest. Like, oh yeah, like hmm. the, that was the the running gag was you know anime crack is cheaper. Like, <laughs> like seriously, like it, 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 you would get, let's see, like maybe if you were lucky on a good year, you might have like. Ten shows that make it out of Japan, mm-hmm. they get produced in the U.S. And out of those ten, you might have like maybe three, and even earlier than that, it was like you'd have five shows that came out of Japan mm-hmm. that you could get on video cassette. And mm-hmm. out of those, maybe two were good. Like hmm. that's your that's your Dragon Ball Z's and the other stuff like yeah. that. And, and, that's like eighties. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, like the big production. Like getting out of the yeah. '70s, going into the '80s, they didn't really have a lot of good equipment. They didn't have a lot of really good dubbing. Yeah, it was a they, they couldn't uh, the control the, like the lip flaps and stuff like that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, a lot of it was produced weirdly, and it was whoever was willing to do it. Yeah, and notice Mexico. Mexico had a lot of anime stuff before we. Because granted, they would. Uh, uh, they would dub a lot of stuff in, in Spanish yeah. And yeah. in Mexico. And so I saw Voltron in Mexico way before I actually saw, like, uh, Voltron here. Well, it's like I remember, uh, I mean, I only caught a couple episodes when I was a kid because, I mean, stuff would, sometimes it was, like, real random, you know, when they would show it on TV. Uh, what, what was it? Uh, Robotech. Yeah. And I remember seeing the toys and stuff. They call it a different name. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, and it's, uh, like, like the little, like, motorcycle. I had that with, like, a dude, but then that was it, you know. Yeah. Uh, Hard to find. Yeah, and it's like, you know, that was like what I remember is like, and like, I, I didn't consider like Voltron anime, you know, yeah. but like 
that was anime. Like on cable access, I remember catching uh, Ape Man, which I probably mentioned on another fucking uh, episode and stuff. And it was like, whoa, this is kind of awesome, man. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. But uh, it was Ushiro really hard to source, really hard to find. It Ushiro on... and Toro, I, I caught a bunch of those on uh, sure. cable access. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? You know what we're talking about. I guess maybe if, I. if the people that haven't actually, I guess we could always yeah. reintroduce anime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm sure there are plenty of people who don't, because I run into them every day. Mm-hmm. Uh, plenty of people in San Antonio who don't know uh, what anime the Alamo uh, is. For for those of you who don't, um, we do a free uh, anime event every Tuesday at the Alamo Draft House West Lakes. Um, like I said, it's absolutely free. It's at 7 o'clock. We have a pre-show with Tokusatsu at the beginning. So mm-hmm. Tokusatsu, that's your kind of um, uh, heroes in spandex, Power Rangers, Ultraman. Ultraman, yeah. Godzilla, that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. It, you know, monsters in rubber suits. You know, they're fighting and destroying buildings and stuff. That's all kind of lumped into a genre, and that genre is Tokusatsu. So we have about 30 minutes of that at the beginning, and then uh, we have a two-hour block of anime programming. We do themed months. We do... Mm-hmm. Um, at the end of every month, we have like a repeating program that we all kind of watch together. That I think like book club, but with like anime. Oh, so okay. like we're on this chapter or this chunk of anime. <laughs> um, and then, um, yeah, I mean, it's a lot of fun. Um, I would encourage anybody, if you're interested in that, uh, we have a Facebook. Uh, you can like us on there. We have a Facebook mm. fan page. Um, we'll which have we'll, that at the bottom. Yeah. yeah and we have, we have our schedule on there ahead of time so that people mm. can because it's hard enough trying to get people to go out but like if they don't know what's showing they won't block out time to be like no I want to make it for like this particular one mm-hmm. yeah so um, that's why we do all that we have, but not everybody does Facebook we also have a Twitter um, we just started doing I think an Instagram if we have that up I'll link mm. I'll right. link I'll yeah, link yeah, y'all you were to talking that. about that earlier yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we have a website animealamo.com right. um, where you can <laughs> look at all that we have a, like, a feed going on there but um uh, yeah, it's uh, like I said, it's a lot. Of, it's I find it's uh, a really good uh, opportunity to be like. I don't want to use the, the word safe space space too lightly, but like it's it's a it's a it's a safe ex- way to experience new anime. Yeah, it, it, yeah. it's an easier way because usually you'll show up with friends. It's a nice little medium. Right, yeah. because a lot of times, like you're searching through your Hulu or your Crunchyroll mm-hmm. or your Netflix or whatever have you to your anime source, or you're going yeah. through, you know, you, you want to borrow a DVD, but you don't know if it's good or not, and it's hard to sometimes yeah. go on somebody's just recommendation. Yeah, well, so, it's, it, yeah, if you buy it and then you're kind of stuck, and then it's, you're kind of ah. stuck. Yeah, you don't know if you're gonna like it, or or you're like, I don't know if I'm gonna want to waste time watching this. So mm-hmm. we kind of take that. Um, and we, we, we curate, you know, titles that are, like, newer, older. We try to toe the line between new stuff, old stuff, popular stuff, mm-hmm. and stuff that maybe people haven't heard of. Obscure. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Because, like, okay, so as a matter of, for instance, like, recently um, uh, Food Wars got chosen by our fans because there was a fan poll. They got chosen as our anime of the month. So we're watching that. We'll watch the first five five episodes, and then the next month, the next five, and then the next month, the next five, and onward until we get through a whole season. Mm-hmm. And the reason we do that is because you know I got tired of watching the first five episodes of of a series and then just like not never seeing it again. Yeah, yeah. So like I was like, damn it, I want to finish something. So like that's <laughs> where that came from. But but like Food Wars is not my favorite thing, but it's super popular. And that's is the it thing. really? I yeah. remember you were telling me about it uh, yeah. on one of the other shows and. I think they got it on Hulu or something like that, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Yeah, and then and it's also on Crunchyroll, I yeah. think, too. But it's like, I, I personally don't get it, but the, the <laughs> thing I, I tell people is, like, the more you watch, the more anime you watch, the more mm. you kind of realize that you don't have to, quote-unquote, get it in order to, yeah. like, know that that's a valid thing that people are into. Like, that's... Yeah. Like, it's a gourmet anime, which I tend to like because it's, uh, it's about food and stuff. <laughs> but then there's a lot of, like, super, like, fan... Um, 
like fan servicey type oh, scenes yeah, where yeah. like they eat the food and they're like, oh my god, it's so good, yeah. <laughs> and like their clothes rip off and like and they're just like, oh. like, but it's like chicks and dudes too, like so like there's old dudes like just <laughs> clothes falling off. Them. Oh my god, it's so good. This is the best omelets, you know. Just yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, That's, do they have like the going to the beach, you know, episode? The classic, uh, that's like the classic one. I don't think we've gotten that far into it. I'm pretty sure they do, though. <laughs> like, that's the, you're right. Get the crab dundru, <laughs> no, you're tuna com- <laughs> dru, the kukra, you know. No, no, you're, you're completely right. That's like, that's trope at this point. You gotta yeah. have, in every uh, anime series, you gotta have the beach episode. <laughs> you gotta have the Yuenchi episode, which is the, the going to the theme park with or, the uh, yeah, roller yeah, coasters yeah. and stuff. Or else they think the spa episode. And the, then the, the hot onsen. Oh, the, oh yeah, yeah, the onsen. Hot springs episode. Yeah, yeah which watching those, it's like, man, I kind of want to go and actually check out an Dude, onsen. Dude, they don't have room. anything like that mm-hmm. here where you could just like go and relax for like a weekend. Oh, man, it would. Like, it would probably not work out here. <laughs> Do you think there'd be too many, too much peeking and people it, like? You know, it'd be end up to be like. Weirdos, it'd be end up like turning into a bathhouse, like a Turkish bathhouse. <laughs> yeah, like a bunch of weird old men. <laughs> yeah, and just like too uh, oily. Yeah, just. Uh, no, and they're like, oh, we gotta. God, the filters so can't handle all the grime, yeah. you know. Just like, uh we gotta yeah. hose these sacks of shit down. <laughs> like, yeah, just. Hey, mate. Like they scrape the walls at the end of the day. Yeah, like with just like it, oh, just, just, just comes just, off. And you gotta like get the delousing powder. Like it's in prison. Like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta like you know, one so guy has bad. a. Hit him with a delousing this one gig at the scrubber, and they got This is the worst visual right now. This is just. <laughs> with the sc- it's that, just with powdered the- sugar. It tastes delicious. <laughs> <laughs> the mites hate sugar. You know what I'm saying? Fucking farmer. They, they, they got a guy with a with the deck brush, and he just. just <laughs> uh, <laughs> geez. Yeah, American Onsen sounds horrible. Just, I don't know. Just terrible. Unless, yeah. unless, unless you made it like super expensive so that like it was prohibitive, maybe. But then. then nah, keep but, then the normal Joes, but the normal Joes couldn't. Yeah, you get all the cocksuckers going. Ah, there. You, it's like know, the whole point. Like, you know what I guess? I guess you could always have like, uh, yeah. I guess you have tiers where you have like, Maybe. oh, this is the executive suite, but that's that's oh, you, not for you. You, you have, have to go the platinum to door then, to go But then that also just frustrates frustrates me because that's like so America. Like, <laughs> like I, I, I'm already frustrated with the idea of this. Is like we must topple the proletariat. No, 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 no. Like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> uh, just. <laughs> Like these, it, these bourgeois <laughs> executives <laughs> going into her, their executive spas, they don't need it. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> <laughs> like like a, no no no. There's there, in heavens, even in heaven, there's ghettos. You know, you, sure yeah. you get into heaven. That's horrible. But it's yeah, that's a terrible. <laughs> like no, you you, you, you sure you go awesome. into regular. It sounds heaven. like a really bad album. Yeah. Even <laughs> that's 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 my new R and B album I'm gonna put out later this year. Oh shit! Even in heaven, there's ghettos. Yeah. Just, that's I like get, a that's like a blues album yeah. from like a dude with like a uh, uh, mashed potato Johnson. Yeah, <laughs> mashed potato Johnson singing train. <laughs> but um, Seven but yeah, head train. You know, problems and blues. You know. <laughs> So yeah, that's so, speaking of metalocalypse, that's like animation, which is like anime. Segway, <laughs> oh. oh, bam! Good job tying it back. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now we can get too off the rails here. Yeah, it's kind of getting a little horrible. Yeah, shit, you know, the, but, that is classic blunderbuss. Yeah, classic, just, classic, classic blunder. You know. Womp womp. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you blunderbuss. No, I have to admit, was it like one of the first shows where it got kind of crazy like that? Was a uh, uh, green green and. I think it's only like six or seven episodes. I like I had to buy the goddamn you know set, mm-hmm. um, and it was like I'm watching it, and what the fuck was it? I think they started showing like tits in there. It was like, uh, what the fuck is yeah. this? It, but it was funny as fuck. Man. That's kind of weird. Like you, I've actually experienced that where you like you're watching an anime, it seems pretty tame, and you're laughing, and it's got good comedy and interesting characters, mm-hmm. and it just sort of sucks you in. And you're like. Okay, I'll finish this the season. Why not? Yeah. You know, and then you're going along, and then all of a sudden, there's like a heel <laughs> turn, like, like just a pivot where there's just like tits everywhere, and just like all kinds of like weird situations, and you're like, I don't, I don't <laughs> think I'm comfortable with these characters. I mean, some of them are not. The right age, like oh, yeah. this oh, is not man. cool. Oh, yeah. I'm not cool with this at all. Shit. It's like, <laughs> oh. what the f- whoa, yeah. you know, I'll still and watch so, like, it, but it's like, I. It, it all starts innocently this. enough, and then something's illegal, and it's just not it's yeah. not cool at all. <laughs> you know, and it's like you know, I, I was joking around. It's like, yeah, you know, dating a chick, and it's like, 
I don't know how they're going to sit her down and watch some of this shit with me. <laughs> it's kind of hard to, you know, and I'm in that position. I'm going to get judged. No, but I, but I tell you, I'm in that position, like, pretty much weekly or, or monthly. At least once a month it happens where I kind of have to, like, explain stuff. Yeah. It's like you can't ex- if you can't explain it in thirty seconds with just like it's because this yeah like it makes it really weird because now it's like oh, well if it's something you have to defend it's probably not defensible it's like, like it's, yeah. it's it's probably Jap- weird it's Japanese culture <laughs> but it, but yeah it, it, a lot of it comes down <laughs> to like that's the culture that thing even though we're not like it's kind of sketch here we're and we're not really cool with it over there mm. it, it it may not even be accepted over there but it's something that like is an occurrence it like it happens yeah mm. like um some uh, like a common trope that i see in some of the things is you'll see the dude uh rescuing the chick from like a train groper mm-hmm. over here we don't have the concept of like a train groper yeah. you might have like a dude who goes around in a trench coat like that's yeah. a trope well, here, i guess uh, uh, Flashing people, but like, well, no, I guess yep. to explain the set of like a train groper, it's not like it's well, because like in Japan they have, well, you know, I, the it's, per- it's really well, weird. It's, it's like, really like, cramped. The trains are really cramped. Yeah, well, have, but and it, so some people get their jollies by being way too close to people. Yeah, yeah. and so like they start to kind Just of blah, 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 yeah, blah, blah, blah. and then like, like, what the fuck is the matter with? But you, you know the. Actually, it's kind of funny. There, uh, there's been a movement of like schoolgirls fighting back on that. Like, hmm. like don't forget, touch me, you old dirty dude. Like. Yeah, because yeah. good being, for them. Like yeah, that's spe- good. Speaking and being loud is considered rude. Being exactly, on the phone and that's why a lot of people is being get away considered with it. really rude. You yeah. know, it's uh, it's it's such a uh, uh, interesting culture, I guess yeah. you could say. And, and of course, it, granted, like, especially being packed in that that train, it's not like you could do much. It's like right, yeah. yeah. yeah and then so, like, move. basically, to to make a big commotion about something is sort of like faux pas. Yeah, like yeah. you're making trouble for people, but yeah. at the same time, like the the ladies are like. No, like that's the point. Like, <laughs> uh, we're kind of being groped. That's not cool. But um, so what was I gonna say? Uh, but but it's weird because like Japan's, and then you're like explaining stuff, but it's like Japan's not a monolith. Like it's so there's so much variance. Like there's people who are like super traditional, and there's people that are like the new kids. They were just like they're into everything. Yeah. You know. So like you try to explain something like, oh well, over there it's like this, and then they're like, but that's not what I saw. You know, <laughs> um, yeah, because like watching anime and it's like you know watching anime, reading manga and stuff, and it, it does give you a peek into like the societal the kind of stuff and the culture. But you know, some of it's kind of like blown out of proportion and shit, and exaggerated. You know? Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's like the whole schoolgirl thing, which I don't doubt one bit that they have a school because I was I've watched documentaries and it's like a whole underground kind of fucking thing. <sighs> Yeah, but it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's really crazy, but it, it's really interesting. But it's such a what? What would be a good term? A introverted society. Yeah, you know. Um, there's a very like common phrase over there: that the nail that stands up gets hammered down. So, oh, really? Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah. So it's it, they're very much like into the idea of conforming to social norms. But then there's you can't really say that because mm. it's not everybody over there. Because yeah. like a lot of the youth are like social norms. What are those? What are? Yeah. I don't care. I'm going to dress in crazy costumes. Yeah. All day and, and have a walk cr- around. Crazy haircut. You know? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, you know, I'm going to look like a Final Fantasy character everywhere I go. Yeah. And that's their thing. Well, it's like, like you know, you could destroy some dude by just calling him a pervert. And it's just like, what oh, the yeah. fuck? It's like the guy's just looking around, man. He's not looking at your tits. Maybe my grades and shit, but how is that being a pervert, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like he's got porn or something. And it's like he's ostracized. And it's like, hey, man, I'm a dude. You know, I ain't getting a piece, so I was like, I'm gonna beat it like I owe me money. He's a you know? man. He's yeah, a man. What the just fuck? let him well, be. Just, well, not only that. No, it's 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 weird too because you mentioned that. Like, there's sort of this, um, not is almost like a sexual revolution. Like where where they're like, hey, ladies can have the porns too, and that's not weird. Yeah, you know, like, yeah. but but they're sort of thought as weird, and they're like, like, they're hey, like, they're like, it's cool. not weird. It's like clinically healthy for you to like yes. you know what I mean like <laughs> like and so it's such natural. a weird thing that this is something that has to be explained to like yeah. adults yeah but and then so it's like we all know you flick the that... bean in the corner <laughs> no, <boy. laughs> well no and then you take that crazy like mixed up situation over there where everybody even the people who should be the authority on the, the subject the people who live there themselves even they have debatable like they they have um disagreement and then you try to explain that to a Western idea, like yeah, a person like, with a Western mind. You're like, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, she's just And it's just, stuff. yeah, it's so, like, there's so much to explain. Yeah. And they're just like, uh, 
I don't get it. Like, <laughs> and so like I'll, um, I'll every once in a while you get a parent that just kind of gives you a stink eye because they're like, I thought this was cartoons. Yeah, and <laughs> cartoons are good for kids apparently. Well, that's, that's what I was told. Well, I was watching like a a, a, a show on YouTube and uh, it was a chick from actually here in Texas and she married a guy. He was at school here and she married him and they live over in Japan. It's a yeah. Uh, Texan in Japan or something oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, I've seen that um, yeah. channel. I guess yeah. we could p- put that on the link. Yeah, no, yeah, well, unfortunately, she stopped doing the show because... Uh, they split up or something, right? No, no, no. Uh, apparently, what it was is uh, she compromised herself without realizing it. Oh. Like, she wasn't going to have, like... It's her and her husband on the show, but she wasn't going to have, like, any other family members on the show kind of yeah. stuff. And she said she was trying to do work and record a show, and they were over at family's house. And she's like, oh, you know, you know, my my niece and nephews. It's like, oh, they're, they're you know, I love them. They're cute and stuff. And she was gonna yeah. put them on the show, and she just kind of went, whoa, what the hell is that going on? And she decided to shut it down. And it's like, well, don't shut it down. Just yeah, there it was, happens. It happens. Yeah, you know? she, you, you kind of get a little too comfortable and carried away. Which there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But which I guess we do that, but we don't give a fuck anyways. Yes. But but no, it was really interesting <laughs> though because they would go out, you know. She would talk about like her experiences, her husband's experience, and then they would go out to the public and talk to people and stuff. Like she did an episode about like going to an onsen and stuff, and like you know the right things to do, the wrong things to do, kind of stuff. And hey, it's just kind of crazy, you know. It's like yeah, very enlightening. There's another couple, same thing, you know, chicks from America, dudes from there, and you know it's kind of funny. Now her husband, like his English is like really good. The the Texan chick, he's like. It's a little, like, broken and stuff, but the guy's, like, goofing around the entire time and messing with her. It's like she asks him questions. He's like, I don't know. He's like, and then what was the term for, like, she was going through, like, Chan, Son, and all that kind of stuff. Uh-huh. She, was, she was talking about, I guess, like, uh, uh, oh, there's, it's the one uh, title where it's it's for children kind of stuff, and and he has like his kun, like his kun, yeah, kun. And it's like you know, he's like, no, I'm, you know, I can't remember his name, like kun and stuff. And he's like, he's like, I'm a little boy, you know, kind of like you know, like he's the cute teasing kid. Her, basically. No, no, yeah. that he's the cute kid. No, even like he has his niece and nephews call him that shit, you know. <laughs> and it's like he's a goofy guy. Like he would be cool to like hang out and shit, you know. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But she was talking about she met some girls and then they started hanging out and like right off the bat she started using Chan and they're like what and she's like I was just really eager to like have some friends and call them, you know whatever Chan you know yeah isn't that what you, you mean Chan and shit you know yeah so she's like yeah I kind of full pod there a little bit you know? yeah so it's kind of well, pump the brakes <laughs> yeah the, they have the thing about um, being too familiar too soon yeah yeah don't don't talk to me like you're familiar to me because we don't we ain't like that yet yeah they have this whole thing about like levels and social levels and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a big thing over there, you know, or, like, yeah. uh, she talked about, like, horse laughing. It's like, what the fuck is that? Oh, you know? yeah. And it's like, you know, then she explained, she's like, you know, laughing loud and then, like, throwing your head back. And it's like, that's what a horse does. So it's like, you know, she's like, Americans do horse laughing, according Apparently, to them. Apparently. Yeah. And, you know, they, they, they cover their mouths. And she's like, that's how women laugh over there. Yeah. Or, like, or even, low even, chuckle, just like, ho, oh, oh, Yeah, even, you know? even, uh, even, like, dudes over there, are, it's, it's sort of thought of as weird if you're laughing that loud, but yeah. you're not in a situation like if you're at the bar, I guess, mm-hmm. like and everybody's being rowdy, yeah, then you can like, and stuff, yeah. very like very loud voices just laughing. But Otherwise, you're walking down the street and someone tells a joke and it's just like ha ah! because <laughs> it's that funny. Yeah, you're disturbing the public. I guess yeah. the thing is like you're disturbing other people, kind of stuff. Yeah, and it's like, yeah. man, fuck these motherfuckers, man. I have a good well, time. see, that's isn't that a very American attitude? Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> no, it really is. Yeah, hey, fuck these motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. Fuck them. them laughing. <laughs> no, no, but I mean, you know, I I used to really be like that, and you know, when I was a teenager. Yeah. Now it's just like you know, I pull into the neighborhood. And I turn down my music, put in the code to get the fuck in there, and then it's like I pull up. You know, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, instead yeah. of pulling in, it's like Pantera, you know, you know, Cannibal Corpse is just or you know, Beethoven just you know, it's like I still fucking turn it down and shit, you know, blasting the monkeys and shit. It's like, nah, let me turn it down and be respectful of the neighbors and, and I like it goes to like Cannibal Corpse all the way to the monkeys. Like, yeah, you got damn right, man. No Beethoven than then than the monkeys. I listen to it all. I don't care if my 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 neighbors don't like ghosts. Papa rules. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like when I uh, got back from Minnesota, you know, uh, a couple of months ago. I was driving to Colleen to my friend's place to go from there. It's like, ah, oh, dude, the, the stereo was fucked up, so I'd have to use a little, like, radio tuner thing. And it doesn't work very well half the time. So on the way up, all it is is, like, Christian radio stations and country. And I'm just like, oh. Well. 
So on the way back, it wasn't working at all. So I just like turned the phone speakers on. I was like, fuck it. I am changing this stereo tomorrow. <laughs> and then it's like I had to change out the speakers in the front because they were blown. Well, it used to be my friend's mom's truck. Mm. And I was telling her about it. She was like, no, my mom blew those fucking speakers. It's like, yeah, she blew the crap out of them. So I told the guy, I was like, dude, these things can't even handle crystal method with the new stereo in there. And the guy's like, kind of looked at me like, what the fuck is crystal method? <laughs> oh, no. Was he a young guy or just an older guy? Uh, no, he was probably about my age. And I'm like, dude, you know. We, yeah. But, but yeah, it was probably like not anywhere near anything that he listens to. Oh, that, was, that was the, that was the whole like... thing back in the day, man. <laughs> oh, the, man. The, that... the 90s techno scene. Crystal I mean, method. Was, is, is that some kind of like, is that like meth? <laughs> well, shit, I, with, I think they did, they had one of their songs on uh, The Matrix and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah. Oh, yeah, but I guess we should get back to overseas. You know? yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking about the weird shit in Japan. Well, actually, uh, now we got a little time left. Okay, well, uh, what Trey? What's I guess uh, Trey? God, Rick. I'm sorry. I, I miss Trey so much. We do. We just, miss him. <laughs> just God damn. He left the hole in our hearts. Just, he did. We shall like, soldier on. Yeah. Just anyway, Rick. Uh, just. <laughs> Uh, I guess uh, we, we got a, we got a little time. I guess what's what's going on next month, or I guess yeah. what's going on tomorrow because today's okay MLK day. What's going on tomorrow? <laughs> yes, we're, and, we're shooting this on on or we're recording this on uh, MLK. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, what's going on tomorrow? What's going on next week? And what's going on next month? Okay, cool. So uh, tomorrow we're gonna have uh, this whole. Month. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I gotta right? look at my phone. No, <laughs> shut up. They don't know that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really bad about doing that, but it's like, you know what? Put me on the spot. I get my jollies. <laughs> it's like, no, oh, uh, we'll, we'll be back next week. It's like, no, we'll be back here in like 30 minutes. So, just shut up, man. <laughs> so this whole month is the month of Too Many Gundam. Okay. So we're showing lots and lots of Gundam. Too Many Gundam. Oh, yeah, it's nice. great. Nice. So we're showing Mobile Suit Gundam V, Victory. Um, v is for Victory. Mobile Suit Gundam <laughs> Victory. It's really good. Um, and then one. the next week after that, we'll be showing... Gundam uh, After War Gundam X. Okay. I haven't seen that one before. Again, these are older series that a really? lot of people haven't seen. Yeah, oh, it's exactly. Older ones? Oh, we were wow, showing some newer stuff. We were showing some older stuff. Uh, and that's the whole curation thing, you know? Um, and then at the end of the month, we'll be showing our ongoing anime of the month that I mentioned before. We're watching more Food Wars. The next month after that, we have the whole theme as being uh, Maho Shoujo, which is uh, Magical Girl Animes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And um, really perverted. <laughs> it's not that bad, but uh, we have yet to release that <laughs> schedule yet because uh, it's coming up. But uh, stay tuned to Facebook, and we'll should should be coming that up. Uh, that we should be posting that fairly soon. Um, but uh, yeah, come by and see us. It's yeah. gonna be a lot of fun. Seven o'clock, right? Yes. West Lakes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Good. Good. All right. Nate. Uh, well, shit, man. Maybe we should. Uh, well, sometime to wrap it up. I guess. Like the winds are blowing. Yeah. Guess so. it's, 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 honestly, it's gonna get loud. But uh, I feel like you're gonna have me buy again, though. I maybe, feel like maybe I maybe, do another one. Yeah, maybe, you know what? It, well, we do enjoy magical? your presence. You know, <laughs> hopefully you can bring Trey with you. But, you know, <laughs> maybe not. I have a feeling well, he won't be able much? to make it. You yeah. know, just we'll, we'll see. All right. We'll see. It just hurt so bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for this the first episode of 2017. Yep. Yeah, this is with me the illustrious Nate, as always. <laughs> Goodbye, Rick, the Rick Roller. You know, come with us. He'll probably be next show. Oh yeah, thank you very much. Like us on the Twitters and the YouTubes and the Instagrams, whatever the hell we have. Thank you very much, and have good night. <laughs> Oh yeah, good Nailed timing. It. Good yeah, timing. Good. Yeah, no, it actually worked out pretty yeah. good. I guess it's just you know, usually I fight you on it, but I was like, no, I'm not gonna fight you. I've been fucking with your diet, you know, it's a lot lately.